Six of Swords and the Tower. Some peace of mind after a disruption of some sort. An explosion of some sort. Um, somebody leaving. Somebody... Um, well, I don't like to say destroying us because uh, nobody really can destroy us, you know. Yeah, they can cause trouble, but uh, destroy it's another story. King of Pentacles with the Six of Swords can be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Or maybe this is connected to money. This is maybe they were providing and then somebody decided, you know what? Four of Swords, Six of Swords, both the energies of peace of mind walking away. Um, you know, to have some thinking, planning, strategizing, and just be quiet for a moment. So let's see, Scorpio, what's going on? Of course, the bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time, the most important one. And we have the Nine of Swords, why worry? And we do have the Star, Aquarius energy. And, um, <clears throat> sorry guys, I'm losing my voice here. This is all about healing, alignment, and protection. This is about divine guidance. This is about counseling for some of you. Um, you know, you might uh, have anxiety. Uh, you know, lately we are all, uh, right, uh, anxious about what's going on. But I feel that we are guided here. Uh, that it might, um, you know, have an impact on uh, your love life, on your connections to people. And I feel that somebody is really guided to ask for help. For some of you, it's an Aquarius you are really stressed about um, and uh, you lose sleep over. But I love the healing energy and I feel that from guidance, uh, we get our healing from guidance and like a proactive kind of um, way to go by it. <clears throat> so Scorpio, past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. Let's have the current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual. Okay, three. I'm going to take three. And let's have the possible outcome for you, the person you are dealing with, and a mutual. But about the deck seven of swords, I know what's going on. You're worried that somebody is cheating on you. And we do have the ace of cups and the magician. I don't think they are, Scorpio. Um, yeah, the magician is, please feel confident, uh, you know, the magician is all about, believe you have the tools to manage whatever is coming your way. We do have the Ace of Cups, so you are loved, I wouldn't worry that much. And, um, and Nine of Swords is the energy of, um, you know, you keeping yourself uh, kind of, uh, in a mental prison, I know it's not eight, but it feels like, um, you know, being entrapped in this, um, you know, over and over thinking with the Nine of Swords that maybe they, they are dishonest. And we have the Magician and the Ace of Cups. Trust it. It's, um, it's good love. It's genuine love. And I know the Magician, right, shows up because you believe they are like a trickster. Uh, this is the uh, Master Manipulator uh, type of energy when it's in reverse, the Magician, right? Um, <clears throat> so you might, uh, you might be worried about. So what do we have in the past? We do have the Empress and the King of Wands. Um, so you might be dealing with, um, an Aries Leo Sagittarius. The Empress is Tor Taurus Libra energy. Um, but you know, uh, you might be worried, um, I don't know if you are worried that somebody, um, go, will go back to their, um, you know, um, person that they had prior to the Empress. I don't know if somebody was married and we are now um, kind of scared that they might um, go back to their um, husband, wife, um, you know, a significant other from the past. This is also the energy, Scorpio, of you giving everything to this person in the past. It's the energy. It's the most uh, generous, loving, genuine, um, abundant um, in emotions and uh, finances that you had with this person. Very loving energies and very passionate. Now this person of yours, guess what? The death, which is your energy transformation and the Knight of Pentacles. So they wanted to build something solid with you. This is the energy of starting slow and building up towards something more solid. Um, this is really being cautious but your energy is all over them. So, you know, um, go figure. Um, 
it also has this energy of this love transformed them um you know um this is really the energy where something that felt solid to them worth it the investment also um, change them in a beautiful way in a way where somebody is more friendly more generous uh, more kind it is uh, 3d uh, focused but um, it's um, you know in a generous way mutual energy is between the two of you the magician and the eight of pentacles one is hard working the other one is the magician spiritually enlightened um, open um, confident feeling their best and we have the magician twice and we just started the reading so that is a lot of magic in this connection that was um, a lot of um, magic and um, and probably the magic we might consider it as tricks and that's why the lack of confidence I feel Scorpio you don't trust them for some reason um, <clears throat> And um, and Eight of Pentacles, I do believe that they put the genuine, they, in the past, right, they put genuine effort into it. And it might have looked like false type of effort, right? The Magician and Eight of um, Pentacles can be, you know, a kind of a play, the rehearsed uh, type of effort. But for them, it looked like genuine, right? So where are we right now? King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and the Eight of Cups. I believe, uh, Scorpio, we are leaving them behind slowly. We have the energy, probably tempor temporarily, in the energy of uh, disconnection, emotional withdrawal. This is where I need my time, my space. I'm called for a mission. I see something in the future. I, I don't know exactly what, right? So it's, in a way, the energy of vision. And I feel, uh, Scorpio, you are very focused on finances right now. Um, King of Pentacles can be another person. We do have King of Wands, King of Pentacles. can be same-sex relationship. And it shows up, like, you know, uh, two different energies. One very passionate, one very practical, 3D type of practical. But I mainly feel that uh, somebody here is walking away. It can be for a job, can be for a, a business purposes to develop something, King of Pentacles, to become more abundant. And I feel we are um, slowly paying less and less attention at this point. While this person, I mean, they think you're royalty, uh, Scorpio. We do have the Queen of Cups, and this is exactly your energy and the King of Pentacles. So you might be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn. There are so many repeat cards. I love this. It means confirmations, right? It means uh, coherent energies between the two of you. So maybe mentally we don't know where we stand, but energetically it's clear, right? Um, when we when we see, and I, and I love this, it kind of uh, um, uh, reconciles me. Uh, because sometimes, you know, energies are all over the place. So uh, they think you're royalty. They see you as royalty. They see you as uh, emotionally stable financially abundant um working hard um you know so whatever you are putting your effort into into becoming prosperous opening up a business king of pentacles is actually the businessman um i mean they see you on top of it right and mutual energies between the two of you eight of pentacles queen of pentacles and the high priestess um, these are unspoken energies. I feel that you are, uh, you are very practical at this time. Very, it looks like hands-on. A lot of kind energies. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, a lot of kindness and 3D energy, right? Have you had your dinner? Have you had your lunch? Are the kids fed? You know, that type of energy. Um, it's the garbage, right? <laughs> Out and, and stuff like this, 3D. Energy, but I also feel that communication is an issue and uh, you are silent to each other. Um, it feels like a silent kindness, um, Scorpio. It feels like a silent type of kindness where uh, we are very practical. We are uh, paying attention to details to each other in some way. But somehow the silence disconnects you, right? High Priestess with the Eight of Cups. Um, let's have the possible outcome and we do have the hangman and the king of swords and again the counseling energy and the hangman I believe that is a stagnation in your um, um, relationship that needs to be unlocked 
um, King of Swords again is um, some someone who um, has advice, like a wise uh, type of counselor, and the Hangman. So um, you know, again, that that guidance of asking for help, asking for um, tips and tricks on how to figure out this stagnation. I do believe, Scorpio, that you want action. You have action through work. We have a lot of pentacles through work and um, and endeavors and a new passion. We have the Ace of Cups, a new emotional endeavor that you open up to. But I also feel that this connection is stagnant and silent and we need to do something about it. But again, it's a silent kindness, okay? Now, this person of yours, they do have the Three of Pentacles and the Judgment. This is, they believe strongly in partnership and second chances and rebirth of a partnership. I don't think they want to let you go. I mean, your energy is all over them. Death in the past, Queen of Cups upright, and uh, the judgment, which is a transformation just like death is, right? Um, it's a rebirth out of death. So all over them, um, Scorpio. Your um, energy is so um, um, overpowering for them, but it, in a good sense, you know, not in a bad. So Three of Pentacles judgment. Reconciliation, rebirth. This is the rebirth of a partnership. And mutual energies between the two of you, again, kindness. Simply lots of kindness. Death and the Six of Pentacles. Reciprocation, kindness, generosity. And yourself, your royal self. A transformation of the connection between the two of you. Actually, it's a beautiful, beautiful transformation. I do believe, Scorpio, you hold the key because this person is mesmerized by you. This person is behind you in whatever you want to start uh, because you show up King of Pentacles. They have the King of Pentacles and your energy. So whatever they are right behind you uh, in support, King of Pentacles is the provider and the kind human being. Um, and abundant and lots of royal energy. King of Swords, King of Pentacles twice, um, King of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. Royal energy, mature energy, experienced energy. So you you can't have this all wrong, okay? Um, so I would be confident that's how we get the magician uh, twice. And we started with a lot of stress. So the mind is the enemy. And the universe is saying with the magician twice, you have the tools. And yes, we all get waves and, um, and situations, but you have the tools to manage all of it, okay? Um, so let's ask for some guidance. We know we have the answer, but guess what? Resolving conflict, Scorpio. If you had a fight with this person, the universe is guiding you to reconcile, to find ways. And reconciliation doesn't really mean uh, going, coming together if you don't want to. But it is about, um, you know, um, higher path and it's about higher self and it's about um, not blocking energies in any sense possible and abundance yeah I feel Scorpio you are too abundant human being in so many ways and sometimes we butt heads um, and then the universe comes back and says come on relearn how to do relationships love and life we have reparenting yourself right this is unlearning love and relationship patterns uh, that we saw in our parents, in our family, close family, and just uh, redo it all over again, right? Do it all over again. And we do have the gardener. Protect what you have, right? This is the energy of your inner world, um, inner child, what you cultivated, um, your work on yourself, your, your whole universe, right? And bottom of the deck, Scorpio, demonstrate love. Find out what is important to those you love and act on it. I don't feel you are guided away, honestly. On the contrary, you are guided towards this person with reconciliation energies, abundant energies, um, showing love and, um, you know, learning how to do relationships and love all over again with reparenting. Whatever we saw in the past was not the good way to go. Um, so, Scorpio... This is all that I have for you guys. You know, I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care. Bye.